Chevrolet is gonna change the Genshin meta. I mean, just by the way she eats her snacks while being a master duelist. She's everything you could ask for in a character. Besides being one of the first characters to wield a literal gun, she can also support a team with heals and also does big damage output. In this video, I wished, farmed, and built Chevrolet, and she's definitely got a lot of potential as I was able to capture some insane damage and support capabilities, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh wait a minute, where's my ping over 300? Why am I lagging? Wait, can you guys hear me? Alright, let's get rid of this lag. Oh, okay. So sometimes my ping can get very high when there are multiple people gaming or streaming. Every gamer hates a high ping. But luckily, I have Gear Booster, a stable and fast VPN to help you game smoothly. With a VIP version, it has double the speed to reduce lag. And if you comment right now, you have a chance to win a 7-day VIP trial for the smoothest gaming experience. You can find out by downloading Gear from the link in the description or the pinned comments. Thank you to Gear for making my Genshin run more smoothly now. Okay, so I'll be most likely pulling a Raiden Shogun banner for Chevrolet, and hopefully I'll be able to get one copy of her. My last 4 star, okay, let me check, was... Okay, so 6 pity ago. Ago, so I would probably need to pull 4 times to get a character. But since my last 4 star was the Sucrose, then my next 4 star will most likely be either a weapon or a character. So it'll be kinda RNG, but I hope with one pull I'll just be able to get Chevrolet and we can just start building her. Okay, I'll just do singles for now. Personally, I think this banner is actually pretty good. 4 star wise, because all 4 of these characters can potentially work with Raiden, that is if you build her as a national team, but yeah. But, 3 pulls, we didn't get anything, but the next pull will guarantee us a 4 star. Hopefully I don't get any weapon, but we'll see. We'll see how this gadget experience will go. Okay, first we got Bennett. The wrong pyro character. Which I already have C6. And yeah, since I got a Bennett, unfortunately, I'll probably start doing tempos. I hope I don't get a 5 star though. But since we got Bennett as the last 4 star, this might just be like a weapon or something as well. Yep, it's a weapon. That's around like 16 pulls already. We're already getting deeper and deeper into the pity. So just please. But, okay. Woo! This year is kind of short. But yeah, luckily we got Chevrolet and we can stop building her now. Whoa, her character animation when she joins her team has like this marching sound. Okay, that's pretty unique. I'm most likely going to be building her as a support, but I can try her out as a low semi DPS since I do have Bennett as C6, which will work very well with pyro characters, so that would be really nice. Team wise, I feel like Fischl is probably good because we need some sort of overload. Okay, so this is a team I'm planning on using her in as a DPS team comp, but first we have to build her. So let's just do that. So we need a DPS weapon. I do have 4 star options like a deathmatch. Or we could also use something like a Blacklit Pole. But if I want to go to 5 star territory, I believe a Staff of Homa could also work. And also a PGWS. It's a matter of, I guess, my stats. So I'll come back to the weapons after I put my artifacts on. But before we even focus on any artifacts, let's just build Chevreuse and... Okay, this is a pretty nice idol animation. She's just like munching away, kind of like me when I'm like hungry as well. But I do have enough books, I believe, to level her up. So let's just level her to 19 first because I want to save some materials. 19. And now she needs a little bit of access EXP to get to level 20. So we'll just be using her to hunt for some enemies and then just see her skills and animation. So the thing I like the most about Chevrolet is, of course, her gun. Even though it doesn't do as... Oh. Oh, thank you, Oz, for protecting me. Ow! I'm actually getting sniped from far away as well. So I know that her elemental skill actually has a very long cooldown time, but I'm not really sure what this bullet next to me is. I think it might be some kind of stacks or something. Okay, so it's still here after I switch out. I think it has something to do with Overload, maybe? I know she kind of buffs Pyro and Electro damage, but I'm not really sure since I didn't really read her kit that well. So we'll figure out as we go, I guess. Times like Lee's with her high cooldown, I really wish the Sacrificial Porum exists. But I guess if you want to build a support, then Favonius might be better as well. Okay, so I'm actually curious on Chevrolet's shield breaking capabilities. So let's just see. Okay, not bad. 
Now I just gotta wait 15 seconds before I can actually charge again. Oh, I actually got to level 20. But first, let me just do this. If I aim in... Okay, so it seems like the shield breaking was around the same as just tapping it. So, that's good to know. And let me check and see if Chevrolet's distance is as far or short. If she can actually hit the barrels over there, then that would be nice. Wow, okay, so that's a pretty long distance. Longer than Navia, then. So that's good. Okay, watch me pop these balloons right now. Alright, fly up, fly up. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we traded blows, but I came out on top. But now let's ascend her since we got her up to level 20. I do have the materials ready already, so that's good to know. So I don't have to run around collecting the flowers. I actually haven't checked what boss material she needs, but let's just check right now. Okay, I'll just take an L and use my materials. Okay, so she's eating while I'm ascending her. Okay, that's a little bit too much, okay? I know you want to grow taller. Okay, so she does need the unicorn. Which we do have 22 already, but this is actually perfect because we only need to farm like around 4 more materials to get her up to level 80. So that's not bad. I believe she does ascend with HP as well. So let's just get her as high as possible for now and then we'll be able to go fight some bosses. Alright, I can actually take her to level 60. But now I do need some of these chunks. And she does unlock a talent after I sent her, so we do need to get her up to level 70. Okay, so let me just switch out Sucrose with Xiang Ling real quick. So this is basically an overload team. But we honestly don't really need Fischl because this boss probably has some kind of electro infusion on it. But I actually don't know. So let me just try it out. Let's get a fight started with this. Alright, let's just see. Right now, this boss has shields, so our damage is a little bit lower. But hopefully, I'll be able to just kill it without any trouble. Alright, let's just test out our damage now. Guess I can use Fischl as well. Wait, actually, this boss doesn't have any electro immunity? Because I believe my Fischl is actually doing damage still. Okay, then. That's good to know. Okay, so we got two of these, which is honestly expected. But... I only need two more though to ascend her to 80, so one more run should be able to do it. Okay, so wait, are these things like passive? I actually never knew that. So if you don't hit them, they'll just be chilling. What do you have to say about yourself, huh? Why did you turn evil? Oh, I just automatically shot. I didn't mean to pull the trigger. I still don't have any artifacts on her though, so she isn't really doing any damage. But once I raise her talents and everything, she should be good. Okay, there's no way this actually hits, right? Okay, I missed. But I did see the bullet go through the Hydro Eidolon though. I just want to test out how close or how far I can get to before it's like the limit. But hopefully this distance will be able to hit the target. No? But this should be able to hit it now. Wait, actually? I see like it's auto aim. Okay, so maybe that's a maximum distance because the Hydro Eidolon didn't have like the target. So I wasn't able to aim that far. Okay, so let's just ascend her real quick to level 70 and unlock a new talent. But I guess this is the farthest I can go right now because I do need to farm the boss a little bit more. Alright, now let's try out the Diluc and see how he and Chevrus work together. Since I just built him on my most recent vid, I can actually start using him now. One thing I noticed though is me missing out. I'm just missing like a lot of my bursts. So, Chevrolet's burst is actually kind of hard to aim. Not gonna lie. Oh, and also, <laughs> Deluxe's burst as well. Okay, you're flying away, but I can shoot you, right? Ow. Okay, there's no way I miss it now. Alright, this should be able to finish it off. And that's probably enough materials. Okay, I got two again. But I can still take Chevrolet to level 80 now, so that's where we'll probably leave her for now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back in Fontaine now. But now she's level 80. So we can finally touch her artifacts and talents. I know my enhancing method is a little bit weird because I should honestly be focusing on weapon and also artifact first. So don't learn from me. Okay, let's just 
kind of give her Lahoma first because I actually want to test out her normal attack damage potential after I raise her talents. And then Artifact, let's just find like a four piece Crimson Witch set, which I believe I do have a little bit. Okay, I do have like some of these that's like over here, not really used. So just slap it on her real quick. Sands, I believe she uses attack sands if you actually want to build her as a DPS. Maybe Elemental Master could also work as well. Otherwise, just focus on probably HP is your best bet. Circlet, I don't know. Hmm. Since I'm already using a Homa, I probably need a crit rate circlet. I may actually strongbox a little bit more because I do not have that much critical rate circlets. Let me just skip this for now and give her a pyro goblet. Okay, I'll just kind of steal Cleese this artifact real quick. Hopefully she doesn't mind. And circlet wise, let me just put on the uh, other Crimson Witch piece. You know what? Let's just see crit damage and see what her stats are. Okay, this is a little bit overkill with her curry being a little bit low. So, okay, so we definitely need a query circlet. Let me actually just go strongbox real quick. Because I believe I do have some extra artifacts left I could use. Okay, I'm gonna see some query circlets. Alright, I only got four circlets, but... Oh, none of them are locked, so I don't really think I got anything good. HP, 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 defense. Okay, nothing good. Alright, I'm just getting rid of all of these. And exchange for better pieces. Okay, I see a goblet that's locked. Animal goblet with double crit. Cool. All these are probably not worth checking, but I'm just gonna double check anyways. Got a query circlet. Okay, this one has good substats, but if it's crit damage, it'll be really nice. This one, a defense one. Why? And nothing really good, but there's like a sand over here. Let's see a attack percent sand. Okay, this is HP, which might be good for Hutel actually, so I'll keep it. Alright, please. Just give me... Where is it? Okay, just give me the substat I want, which is crit damage. And then we can all go on with our day. Well, I'll just use Xin Yan's artifact for now. Because... This crit rate. So... This is our current stat. Which is not really bad. But I really do want to use Homa because the Homa also increases HP. Which also increases our healing as well. Since Chevrus is ultimately skilled by HP with her heals. Normal attack, Line Bayonet Thrust EX. I don't know what this EX means, but it sounds very special. The Tower Material actually requires a mecha enemy. But luckily, I do fight them, so I do have a good amount of them. Alright, everything is at level 6 now, which I believe is good enough for now. So we could actually use her and hopefully she'll be able to do some considerable amount of damage as a DPS right now. I'm just condensing my resins and we could head into a domain to try her out. Okay, so this is a DPS, quote unquote, Chevrus that we all know and love. Let me get her burst up and then we can try and see how much damage she does actually. And I do have my CC Bennett, so I can just use. Whoa, that actually did a lot of damage. 40k crits. Okay. So her, so her playstyle is definitely just like a quick switch, quick switch team as well. But if you have CC Penny, you could definitely do her normal attack DPS. Which is actually doing a pretty good job. Not gonna lie. It's like an overload Hu Tao, it reminds me of. And also she can heal, so... Don't really think we'll have any problem with any characters dying right now. So if I really want to build a Shavrius, this is honestly what I will go for. This team comp. Okay, this time instead of official, let's do Beidou instead. And we can keep Sucrose here because she is just debuffing the enemies. She definitely needs a little bit more energy recharge though because I'm not really getting my burst back fast enough. Okay, just die. Actually, my Beidou is using some weapon I do not want to use. Yeah, she's only using level one weapon. Oops. She should probably use this one. Yeah, we can actually go again. And artifact wise, I don't know. I'm not really getting anything good here for some reason. Okay. I'm just not critting at all. But my rotations are pretty fluid right now. So it's actually pretty good. Alright, I just gotta finish off the enemy with Chevrus because I wanna finish it in style. Artifact? Okay. Of course, nothing. Alright, so now let's take a look at her potential support build. I've heard that people use a lot of the Noblest artifact sets, so let's just sort 
by the noblest pieces and see if we have anything actually usable right now. Hmm, okay. So, definitely some energy recharge would be nice on my flower. Feather wise, let me see. Okay. Why do I have this insane piece that is not on anyone else? Okay, why is my noblest so OP? But I do not have any double crits right now. But since she's a support, she doesn't really need one. So, I don't know why I'm worried about that instead. Okay, this piece is kind of sad. I don't know why Bennett has this piece. But it's looking like I actually need to maybe strongbox a little bit because some of these pieces are a little bit unusable. But this one is a potential piece I could put on Shevrus. Uh, Goblet? Okay, I do have HP Goblets on Yenfei right now, so I guess that's good enough. Or maybe I can even enhance this one as well. So from what I've heard, you just stack HP percent on her or maybe healing bonus. Which I actually do have healing bonus already. So I could just use or pick anything between these, so... Since I already have this one, I'll just kind of steal it from Aloy. Goblet, I'll just steal Yenfei's Goblet real quick. And for Sands, and Feather, and potentially Flower? Alright, let's see what we can get. Nothing really locked. Okay, I got an HP Sands, but I'm not sure if I already have one. I already forgot. Okay, second time. Uh, Nothing really standing out right now. Okay, this is pretty much a... Use this piece. Third time. Ooh, feather is locked. We're we'll potentially in for something good. Okay, I stand. I guess a little bit correct. Other ones, not so much. Okay, let's just enhance the feather actually, since we do need it. Noblest, and let's take a look. This one was the one I just got, so let's enhance this one. There's no energy recharge, but hopefully we land on some crit rates. Okay, EM first. Crit damage? I'm actually not really sure if I want crit damage because it's not something that benefits Chevrus since I'd want some crit rate. I'm planning on putting. Okay, I ran out of artifacts. But I am planning on putting Favonius Lance on her, so I prefer if it actually has some crit damage lines. Okay. And even with crit damage. Huh? Another EM. This one has 93 elemental mastery. Might be a potential R piece for an elemental mastery character, but like, I guess I'll use it for now. But now I actually do have four pieces noblest. Besides HP. Okay, I'm throwing away this piece. This piece is very, very bad. But this is also my only attack person whispering in Echo Woods Sands. So hopefully the trade off is fair. I mean, I'm giving you my only attack person Sands for a pretty good. Substats, so let's see. Okay, so each got like one enhancement or something, as well as we got an attack line, which is not bad, I guess. Uh, let's just get rid of something over here, maybe. All right now it's plus 19, but not enough. Excuse me while I go to my hoarding and just enhance these things real quick. Okay, this will hopefully take me to plus 20. Last but not least, I do have enough materials to enhance this to plus 20. Anything but crit damage, please. Give me a crit rate. Ooh, attack. Okay. Not really like the best substats, but I can cope with this. So yeah, let me actually just check my stats real quick. Crit rate is 22%. So that's a little bit too low for now. So I definitely need a good flower with more crit rate. Hmm, I can't really find like a 20% crit rate flower. I don't even know if I have any of them that's like that, but that's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, this one is 12%. So what does this, what does my set look like right now? 27%. I could definitely opt to go with something else instead of La Favonius. But since I'm trying to build her in one day, I'm most likely just gonna go for La Favonius either way. So yeah, let's see. 27%, but hopefully I can crit more than what the stat shows. And I just try her out as well in a support team. I believe this is the correct rotation. Alright, 25k now. And since I'm doing this artifact domain, I just got reminded of something that I also wanted to make right. Okay, I didn't crit, but that's fine. Still a pretty fast run. Maybe this will award me something actually good. Nothing that's locked, so... I'm once again let down. Alright, so before I test out damage as well... Let me get rid of this artifact. I'm pretty sure I've been using this since like 1.0 as well, so... 
But now it's still up for a upgrade, I guess. Just go to this, I guess, noblest piece, and I believe the sands section. I did have like a good HP percent artifact. So what I'll do is equip this artifact and then just feed the artifact that I was using into the new piece. And hopefully I'll get two times enhancement and get an automatic times 20. Nope. But I got a lot of energy recharge and also some defense. Okay. Mm, I guess I'll try to attempt to plus 20 this and see if it's worth keeping. Ah! <laughs> but this artifact is kind of underwhelming because the defense is kind of useless. I'm Bennett. So like always, I like to use Chevrus and any characters I built to try out against the Primojo Bishop because that's like the easiest spot. Dang, you didn't see that. Well, like I was saying, I'm gonna test out my damage against Primojo Bishop. I kind of died, so I lost my burst, but it's fine. Let's see how much damage you can actually do. 20k? Wait, is that Xiangling or is it my normal attack? Okay, that's Xiangling. Okay, that kind of scared me. I thought I was like able to do like 20k normal attacks. Then... It would have been OP. But still, very fast finish. And I'm most likely going to take Chevrus to the Abyss as well. With her DPS comp at floor 11. And then support at floor 12 and just see how she is as a character and how she fits in the meta. Okay, so on floor 11, I'll just bring Chevrus in the second half. Without Xiangling, this might be a little bit tough, but I'm just going to test out Chevrus' damage alone without Xiangling and see how she does. Okay, let's see if I can actually complete my rotations correctly. There's a lot of uh, mimics I can see. So it's actually pretty good for Chevrus' damage in general. Okay, not bad. Against these floaty enemies especially. Right, 6k, and then burst, 70k, okay. That's like vaporize as well. My elemental skill unfortunately didn't crit though. All right, first half is actually pretty smooth. All right, let's see what I can do in the second chamber. Need to get my burst back up first, but should be pretty quick. All right, 15k. 50k, yeah. 50k with my burst. Because literally I don't have vaporize this time, it's actually pretty good damage as well. Right, that's one down, two more to go. Just solid pyro damage in general. But as long as my officials' is, Oz is up, then I should be able to deal consistent damage as well. So rotations wise, I think I still need to work on it a little bit, but still pretty impressive showing though for a character that is supposed to be a support. But again, I am getting kind of carried by C6 Bennett as well because I'm able to actually shoot out pyro we have the chicken nice let's eat this chicken up for dinner 20k i believe the chicken has a lot of resistance right now when it's standing up so you gotta get it to like sit down first when i'm burning it it kind of stops getting wait actually i don't know this fight does the chicken still have any defense Okay, summon some mushrooms. I didn't get rid of the electro with overload. But that's fine. Still, pretty fast fight. So this time I'm gonna be bringing Raiden as a DPS, Chevrus, Shanley, and then probably Benny. Just like a pure overload team. This time Chevrus is a support. First we have the Thundering Manifestation. And this boss actually is immune, I believe, to Raiden's attacks. So this will be kind of tough because we'll be mainly just relying on Xiangling's damage to see whether or not we can actually finish this on time. But we do have a lot of time. Okay, I missed. Wait, did I miss? I actually didn't miss. Even though my Chevrolet is in a support build, she can still do like around 20k damage with her burst, so definitely helps out with damage as well. Okay. I don't know if actually doing me pretty good favors as well, because normally I would miss those shots, but with auto aim, I actually shot it. Alright, in the second half, we have 
a lot of these slimes. So luckily we can overload and just break the shoulders pretty fast. Otherwise, it's actually pretty hard to actually destroy. But overload does wonders in this chamber, actually. Alright, no biggie. Even though I missed a shot. I believe we're still on time. Yeah, we still have like around a minute and 30 seconds, so. Let me just use this time to kind of build my burst back up. There's also another wave of spawn after this as well. Okay, there's two. Giant lava tools. Like, also, the good thing about this team comp is we have two shoulders essentially. So, we don't really need to worry about dying. Because even though we might almost die, we still have two shoulders that can just show us up anytime. Going to the final chamber is actually looking a little bit scary. Not really sure what awaits us though, so hopefully this overload team can actually do something. Okay. So we got more of these Lava Trolls, so... Even though they do a lot of damage, like I said, with double healers, I don't really think it will be that hard. Although the enemies resisting my Electro damage is a little bit unfortunate here, but with Shaolin and everyone else's help, we should be able to still finish the boss up rather quickly. Okay, hopefully I have time though. Alright, I'm almost dead, but like I said, thankfully with two healers, isn't really as scary because it can just heal up pretty quickly as well. Yeah, Shadow is actually doing pretty good work as well. Four seconds left, but not to worry, Raiden can just destroy the enemy. Even without any consolation, Chevrolet definitely has a spot in many teams. Her playstyle is pretty fun and feels a pretty good niche as more characters get released. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch me build more characters, go check out this one where I attempted to fix the most cursed day one Genshin account by clicking on the video here.